Hello, my name is Rachel. I love clothes and getting things in the mail. <laughs> so I have something new today. This is a totally new company to me. I guess this falls under the category of Facebook made me buy it because Facebook kept advertising uh, one of the items that's in here <laughs> to me. And eventually I just like checked it out. <laughs> and, and I did a little research first because you got to be careful with Facebook. A lot of the clothing sites that advertise to you are scams. <laughs> But I did research, and this one was a real company. And what, what I've discovered is they're called Bloom Chic. And I can't really see it there, but it's Bloom Chic. And uh, they are akin to Dress Lily and Rose Gal, but plus size. So they're, they're kind of like a torrid version of those uh, you know, Asian fashion sites. It's, uh, so they are, their sizing starts at a medium size 10, US size 10, which they call their medium, and goes all the way up to size 30. And they actually do size for American sizing, although they are located, I believe, in China. Uh, and But they, they are like, they're very legit. They're, they're more expensive than like a Shein or Temu, but none of their photos are stolen photos. All of their photos are their same like four or five models. <laughs> Maybe even only three or four models, but it's the same models over and over again in obvious actual photos of the garment <laughs> and not, you know, like a lot of times with uh, the Asian websites, it's, it's, uh, you know, stolen photos and they give you, send you something very similar to that stolen photo. <laughs> but this is, this is like, like I said, again, more, more like Dressily and Rose Gal because both of them also have their own models and their own photos and you know you're seeing a photo of the item you're actually getting. Anyway, let me stop talking about it and I want to show you what I got from them. Now they, again, they are more expensive than like a Shein or Temu, but they're not outrageously priced. They're cheaper than Torrid. I, their dresses average, I'd say 35 to $40. And pockets, and they even say, like, when you pull up a page, like, you sort to say dresses, and under every dress that has a pocket, it'll clearly say pocket, so you don't even have to, like, click onto the item to find out in the description if there's pockets. It'll tell you right there. <laughs> and I would say probably at least 75%, if not more, of their um, skirts and dresses involve pockets. Now, I, I did get three items because their minimum for free shipping was, I want to say, 69 or $70. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I ended up spending an extra $20 instead of just paying $10 for shipping. You know how that goes. <laughs> Girl math, that's how you save money. You spend $20 instead of $10 for shipping, but at least you get an item out of it, right? <laughs> they really packed these in here. <laughs> All right, so here they are. And here you, go. you can see the name better here, Bloom Chic. And... Bloom chic. And there are coupons. Like, when you sign up, of course, they offer you coupons. I used, it was either Honey or Capital One, because I use both of them. I go through both of their coupon suggestions, and when sometimes one of them will find a better one than the other one. But And that happened this time, because Capital One only found me a 20% off coupon, where Honey found me a 25% off coupon. So I did get 25% off of this. So that's how the three items we're able to come to only that like 70 ish dollars, even though their dresses are 35 to 40 dollars a piece. <laughs> so we're going to start with this dress. This is this is not the dress that drew me in, but this is the uh, this was amazing when I saw it. <laughs> now, the fabric you might recognize as very similar to the uh, Kill Star Haunted Garden pattern. And it appears to be a very similar print. The dress, however, I don't believe is styled the same as the Haunted Garden long dress. But it's, just, it's, got, a, um, it's got like these pointy sleeves. Like I couldn't pull that dress up, so I couldn't remember if it is. But I don't think it is because, again, I feel like these are all original designs. I don't feel like they've done any you know, straight up copying. They, they might like take inspiration, but I don't think there's any straight up copying. But here's the dress. It's like an empire waisted dress with a shark bite or fairy pixie hem. And, and I just, I love that print. And that's the, uh, the other thing about them is I did notice, I'm not sure about when I put it on, but like on all their models, their tops seemed very modest. So even though it's got the V-neck, they didn't seem like they were very low cut V-necks. So that's also another thing, like, so affordable, maybe slightly modest goth clothing, if that's your thing, you may really want to check them out. But yeah, I absolutely love this fabric. 
It's a mesh fabric. I think just like the, the Killstar one. But I, I do think the dress is styled differently. I don't 100% remember those. So you have to let me know down in the comments below once I try that on. Which, we, of course, we will do at the end of the video. I feel like I'm rambling a lot again today. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful out. Oh, my God. It's January, whatever. We're almost at the end of January, and it's like 80 degrees outside. <laughs> this week has been weird. And that's going to go back to freezing next week, <laughs> of course. And then this is the dress that drew me in. This is the dress that they kept advertising on Facebook. And, and I don't know why I'm so fascinated with this dress, but I'm just really fascinated with this dress. So it's a black dress. And, and like when I hold it up to the lights like this, the fabric seems somewhat sheer, but it's also a very bright light I'm holding it up to. But yeah, so it's just a black dress with an elastic waist. And then it has like this green on the inside of the cuffs. But my favorite part is down here at the skirt. They have this green lining with tentacles. How awesome is that? Or maybe it's flames. Flames or tentacles. One of those two things. Okay, so now the secret to finding goth clothes on Bloom Chic, because they don't, Dressfully and Rose Gal both have a goth section, which I always thought was really interesting and cool, but at Bloom Chic, you have to search Halloween. They don't have, they don't even use gothic as one of their descriptive words. So if you put in goth or gothic, you won't get anything. But put in Halloween, and you get so many amazing pieces. <laughs> And uh, also velvet is another good search for them to find some good gothy pieces. But yeah, let's go try these on because I'm, oh, oh no, we still have one more piece to look at, don't we? Oh my goodness, I'm getting ahead of myself. One last thing. This is the, the third item I bought. This is just a shirt because I needed something less expensive to get me to that free shipping. <laughs> but this is really uh, just a, a cute tunic top with the, the moon phases on the front and the shark bite hem and the belled cuff. Really cute. This one is uh, the fabric wise. Fabric wise kind of reminds me of my, uh, what is it? Um, what a cuddle dud. I have a, a cuddle, I have several cuddle dud shirts, you know, for wearing layering for warmth. And, and the fabric seems very similar to that. At first, I was going to say it was like the swimsuit fabric, but. I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's it's somehow different. It's more springy. It's very stretchy, but it's more springy. But yeah, but I, I just thought it was really cute and simple and something that would be easy to throw on with a pair of leggings and, you know, just. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go try these things on. I'll be right back. Now, my measurements, I am uh, normally like a U.S. size 12 extra large, although I have gained a few pounds. <laughs> in the past few months. So I'm not 100% sure that those measurements are still accurate, but my clothes still fit me, so I'm still going with them. <laughs> but my measurements have been 40, 33, 43. And uh, my measurements sort of fell on the line between their, their 10 medium and their 12 large. So I got a mix of sizes, and this is one of the pieces I got in the size 10. And I, I almost wish I had gone up to the 12 just to have it maybe a little... Uh, longer where I'd be able to wear it with leggings because it doesn't completely cover my bum in the back. <laughs> but it looks cute with the skirt. <laughs> so it is a really cute style. I like the moon phases. I like the uneven hemline. I like the belled sleeves. And and the fabric is nicer than, than that like swimsuit-ish material. But I'm not 100% sure how to... Uh, to describe it, definitely, definitely like a polyester of some sort. But yeah, no, this is this is really cute. Uh, I, I I can probably get away with both the tens and twelves. I, I do know at least one of these dresses is a twelve. I'll try. I'll let you know which size is which. But yeah, let's move on to one of the dresses. Oh, let me know what you think about this first piece, this top down in the comments below and then we'll move on to those dresses <laughs> so this one i did get in the size 12 and see it has uh, this like i think all of them are designed this way where they have like this just elastic band in the waist that allows it to be more versatile in its sizing i absolutely love the high low with that green and at first i thought it was tentacles but now i think it might be flames but anyway that pattern there in the back i think that is so cute and i love how it the, has the matching green on the inside of the sleeves and it has pockets, <laughs> and they're deep. They're deep pockets, too. I don't know if you can see how far down that goes. They're nice, nice deep pockets. Oh, my God, I love this. <laughs> and once again, it does have a more modest neckline. I feel like their whole brand is 
lean slightly more towards the modest side. There, there were a few items in the Halloween section that were probably sexier, but I feel like for the most part, they did tend to lean more modest, which, you know, it's, I'm in the mood for that sometimes. <laughs> and I think this would be super cute with a corset belt with it. Or, I mean, just even just playing like this, I think is cute. I really love this dress. I'm going, I am, I am going on the Gothic cruise. I did just book like last week for the cruise. So I am going this year <laughs> and, and I have new clothes to wear. Yay. <laughs> Not that I was lacking clothes <laughs> that I haven't worn on the cruise before since all I do is buy clothes. But you know, <laughs> I'm just, I'm telling myself this is for the cruise. I actually use some Christmas money for this because <sighs> anyway. <laughs> But so far, I'm really liking this brand. Let me know. Um, have you heard of them before? Let me know down in the comments below. Have you guys heard of this brand before? Have you ever ordered from them before? Um, oh, also, I I am not like an affiliate in, in like any sense where they they don't even know I exist. Basically, they don't even know I exist. But you, when you order from them, you can sign up for their like reward program so that you can get coupons for future purchases. And they have a referral program in that where if someone uses your referral, you get a 30% off coupon and they get a 30% off coupon. So I am going to have the referral link down in the description box below because 30% is better than 25%, which was the one coupon I did find. <laughs> so yeah, if you are interested in checking out this brand, definitely check out the uh, description box for my referral link and we can both save 30%. Now let's go try on that last dress. And here is the final dress. This is the one that has that awesome bat and skull print like Haunted Garden from Killstar. But I am now like 100% certain this isn't a, you know, exact copy of their style of dress. It might be the same or similar pattern, but it's definitely not an exact copy because this has got pockets. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever bought a Killstar dress with pockets. I can't think of a single Killstar dress I own with pockets. This has pockets. How awesome is that? Oh my goodness. And again, like I, I am, I think I am right about their necklines. It's a pretty modest neckline. It's a little, you know, it's a V-neck, but it's not so low cut. I, you don't really see that much, if any, cleavage. You'd probably have to be like taller than me and standing right next to me. <laughs> but the sleeves are great. Maybe a little like short, but then again, that might be intentional because this part is so long that it might help you actually, you know, do things without your sleeves constantly getting in the way that it's more of a three quarter length sleeve at the top part. And then of course this awesome like pixie hem. And then it's, it's designed, I think um, probably other dresses are going to be like this or, or similar unless it's a bodycon dress where it's, you know, it's just got that elastic piece in the waist that allows for more adjustability. The, the fabric is a little bit stretchy and I did get this one in the size 10 and I think it fits me perfectly. So I do think I can get away for with the 10s or the 12s because the other dress was a 12. So yeah, but let me know what you think. Could you even tell a difference in the sizing between that last one and this one? <laughs> like, I'm not sure I can, but maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I just I love it in this pocket. Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right. I am, I am, I really like, I'm really enjoying this brand. <laughs> And and I, I'm really glad that I did give them a try. I am definitely going to make a purchase or two from them in the future. They are, again, you know, so slightly more expensive on that slightly more expensive scale, but they're not nowhere near as expensive as, say, actually going to a tour or Hot Topic or, you know, wherever we would here <laughs> find uh, this this type of clothing. And, and And again, remember, they don't have goth or gothic as a keyword. Halloween. Halloween is the keyword that brings up all of the gothy like stuff that they have. And, and obviously they don't have it for just Halloween because very little of it was on sale. <laughs> like their winter sale did not include any of the Halloween stuff. So obviously it's a permanent category for them and not just a Halloween category. They just, for whatever reason, haven't adopted the word gothic. <laughs> But, oh my God, I love this dress. <laughs> I love this fabric so much. And this is just so comfortable and easy. I mean, that's dresses in general, right? That's why we wear dresses, because we can pull it up off the floor, throw it on, and everyone's like, hey, why are you so dressed up? <sighs> okay, but well, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you thought about my choices. And, you know, definitely go check them out again. If you are interested, uh, use my link so we can both get a 30% off coupon, because I definitely do want to place another order. <laughs> 
And thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, of course, you can give me a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.